president of the Family Engagement Liaison uh, for three campuses, which is Hastings, Bill Hart, and Alexander. Um, and I also uh, want to introduce Ms. Tavita Powell. She's a counselor from Alexander, and she will be hosting with me this presentation. And this presentation, it's about literacy, which is using character to understand uh, bully. So we're gonna go ahead and start, and I hope everyone sign in or write your name in the chat. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, Ms. Tavita, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. Uh -huh. I'm Ms. Powell, the school counselor at Alexander, and I'm glad to be here with you guys today. Thank you, Ms. Powell, so much for be making a little time for us. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go through. Uh, I'm just going to go to some of the virtual meeting norms, um, you know, uh, find a quiet place, limit the background, uh, be, 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 be positive and respectful when communicating, um, turn out your video on to speak and turn on to say bandwidth, um, use the chat to share your ideas and mute your mic when you're not speaking. Vamos a ir a este con unas normas de la junta virtual. Estos son nada más para que podamos entender un poco más la presentación y evadir los ruidos. Eh, por favor, ser positivos y respetar unos a otros. Eh, encontrar un lugar que esté callado. Este, apagar tu micrófono si no estás este, hablando. So we're going to do an activity right now. Um, just to be nice to each other. Uh, you can always write, we're going to use the chat or if you want to open, uh, turn on your mic, you can and talk. Um, we're going to write something positive for this day. So go ahead and then we're going to share some of the quotes. Vamos a hacer, uh, vamos a escribir algo positivo en el chat. Eh, puede ser de una persona a otra o simplemente una cuota positiva del día. Y vamos a utilizar el chat y si quieren prender su micrófono lo pueden hacer. So vamos a, let's see who is the first one. Okay, I have one uh, for a candidate. I uh, hope everyone is having a great day. And I've got one, be kind to each other. Let's see who else. You can write it in Spanish too. It doesn't matter. You can turn out your mic. Pueden prender su micrófono también. Have another one. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend and be safe, especially now that we're going to spring break. Okay, well, let's start this presentation. Um, so the outcomes are for, for this workshop, it's the workshop's name is Bully Beans, and you're gonna know why it's Bully Beans. Um, esta presentación se llama Bully Beans, y vamos a empezar eh, uh, con, esto, con esta presentación. Uh, y learning outcomes, it's, we're gonna learn how to uh, help kids to understand bullying by using characters in stories. Vamos a ayudar a tus niños a entender qué es el acoso. 
we can identify different kinds of bullying. Vamos a identificar diferentes tipos de acoso. And we're going to understand conflict versus bullying. Y entender diferencia entre el conflicto y el acoso. Sorry, having people getting right now, so I'm just, okay. So for younger kids, bullying might be easier to address when the context of a book, when we are using the book Bully Beans to understand bullying and to gain skills to help our children to similar situations. So para los niños más pequeños, la intimidación puede ser más fácil de abordar con el contexto de un libro. Usaremos el libro de Bully Beans para entender el acoso y adquirir habilidades para ayudar a nuestros hijos en sus su, situaciones similares. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Miss Power is going to take over this uh, presentation. She's going to be explaining what is the bullying definition and what types of bullying, uh, of bullying it's, there are different types. So vamos a, Miss, Miss Power is going to, ella va a, a tomar la presentación y ella nos va a explicar qué es el acoso y nos va a explicar las diferentes um, tipos de acoso que hay. Miss Powell, thank you. So first, the definition of bullying. So bullying is repeated unwanted behavior that involves a power imbalance. So the key is that it's repeated. El, el bullying es un comportamiento este, agresivo que, es des, que no es deseado a los niños en una edad escolar que obviamente implique el, el equilibrio del poder real o percibido. Sometimes we have to understand that when um, bullying occurs, it's not just mean behavior, someone not being nice, it's repeated unwanted behavior over a period of cuando alguien no es uh, buena gente con uno y con otro, el comportamiento se, re, se repite y tiene un potencial de repetirse con el tiempo. There are three types of bullying behaviors. Hay tres tipos de bullying, de comportamiento de bullying. First, we have verbal bullying. Primero tenemos el verbal. That's when students use words to hurt someone. Y eso es cuando usan palabras para lastimar a otros. Form of making fun or name calling. Cuando se están burlando de los demás, les llaman este, nombres, les ponen apodos a los niños. We also have what's called relationship bullying. Y hay otro que se llama este, haciendo relaciones con otros niños. Relationship bullying, that's where students use their friends or other students. Eso se refiere cuando dos niños son amigos. So they might use someone else to hurt someone feelings or say things that are not nice. Y los usan por medio de ellos para decir, este, poniéndoles nombres, decirles cosas que no son uh, adecuadas de decir a los niños, burlándose de ellos. And there's also physical bullying. Y también hay bullying que es físicamente. And in physical bullying, that's where They're using the body to cause harm, whether it's hitting, pushing, shoving. Y también este, el físico es golpear, es aventar, es este, um, presionando a otros. Okay. 
it's using any type of physical force cause harm. Están usando un poder para lastimar a los otros niños. What's important to remember is that bullying must be reported to the teachers and the administrators. Hola. Y lo más importante es este cuando es importante tener la comunicación este con los niños para poder saber qué es lo que está pasando en la escuela y es muy importante que le dejen saber a sus maestros o a los principales a la consejera de la escuela lo que está pasando. Being bullied at school, that's it. So a phone call can be made to the teachers or to the administrators. Mm -hmm. Or even a note could be written. Y también pueden escribir, como dijo ella, notificar a la administración. Este, y también pueden escribir una nota, una carta en escrito de lo que está pasando. So whenever bullying is suspected um, or a student has complaints of bullying, important out right away and let the teachers know. Es muy importante okay. cuando un estudiante está pasando por eso, es inmediatamente avisarles a los maestros o administración o, bien, o a la consejera. So, um, let me go back here. So there's this book um, that I would like to share with you, which is, uh, it's one kind of my favorite books. Hay un libro que quiero este, uh, compartir con ustedes, que a mí me gustó mucho en lo personal cuando estábamos haciendo esta presentación. Duma eh, has money to go buy now, buy some coffers. So, I'm, I'm just going to play just a little bit for this it's book because it's a really long story, <laughs> but I always recommend it. It's really good. It's called Bully Bee. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this story. Um, so her name is uh, Bob and she's a mean bully. She makes, uh, who makes, uh, children to do and say things that she wants. Bob tells the children that she still twists them into human pretzels if they don't do what she wants. When this little girl take, talks to her mom about the bully, her mom gives her bully beans, which is jelly beans. Bully beans are magic beans that they make you strong too. You can stand up bullies. It's a very good book to mm -hmm. dealing with bullies. There is a most part that explains Bo that mm -hmm. Bob is a bully. This uh, tells children how to handle bully. So it's a great book. Um, I got it for Amazon for $9. So it's a really good book. You're really going to like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and play a little bit here. Hi, I'm Mrs. Flaherty. I teach Sorry. fourth grade. Welcome to Buddy's Book Corner. I'm going to read the book called Bully Beans. OK, I don't know why it's not. Julia Cook and illustrate. I'm sorry, let me just. Okay, got it. I know why. Oops, I cannot make it to get down. Flaherty, I teach fourth grade. Welcome to Buddy's Book Corner. I'm going to read the book called Bully Beans. Okay, I will just play it in the end because I don't know what's going on. That was a big bad. Okay, I'm sorry about this. Um, Bad bully. She 
teacher, all the kids at my school knew she Okay, was the boss. let's see. We can hear it. She'd tell you can hear all it? of us what to do, and we'd do it. She'd tell all of us where to go, and we'd go there. She'd even tell all of us what to say, and okay, we'd Okay, let say me get out of this. I'm so sorry. If we didn't so do sorry. what Bobette told us to do, she'd look at us with her mean eyes. Okay, I don't know. We all knew what that meant. If you don't do exactly... Just gonna stop sharing and then share again. Human pretzel, and it scared us. All a lot. So we okay, all I don't know. I think my computer got released. Hold on. I'm sorry. We can hear the, sh the, the video. Oh, you can hear the video? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. That's why I was like, um, okay. No, yes, we can hear it. Okay, I'm so okay. All right, let me give me a second. I'm a crybaby. Bobette teased Winston every day. She said that if he didn't do exactly what she told him to do, she'd twist him into a human mini pretzel. Nobody liked the way Bobette treated Winston, but we were all too afraid to do anything about it. Bobette didn't have any real friends, but she didn't know that nobody, but she didn't know that. Nobody liked Bobette, but we pretended to like her so she wouldn't show us her mean eyes. Last week, Bobette asked me to go over to her house after school. I didn't really want to go, but I went anyway. When we got to her house, her big brother Larry started bullying her. He told her what to do, and she did it. He told her where to go, and she went there. He even told her what to say, and she said it. Larry made Bobette cry, and then he called her a crybaby. He told her that if she didn't do his homework for him, he'd twist her into a human pretzel. I never have time to do my own homework, she whispered to me. That's why I make Winston do it for me. For the first time in my life, I started to feel sorry for Bobette. I began to understand why she was so mean to everybody. That night, I went home and told my mom all about Bobette. I told her how mean she is to all of us and how mean her brother, Larry, is to her. Sounds like you have a true blue bully on your hands, my mom said. I'll get out the bully beans. Bully beans? What are you talking about? My mom reached into our kitchen cupboard and pulled out a bag of jelly beans. She grabbed a magic marker and wrote bully beans across the bag. Bully beans are magic jelly beans that, when chewed up, remind kids that they have the power to stop bullies. The beans in bully beans stand for bullies everywhere. Okay, we're going now. to stop, stop right now because this is like my minute. Um, I cannot hear anything. I don't know why, but um, let bully, me just you have stop to take this. Away so. their power. A bully, you have to take away their power. To do that, you need to work together. Never hang out on the play playground by yourself. Always stay with your friends in groups. Bobette may be able to bully one of you, but I bet she won't try to bully all of you at once. When Bobette picks on Winston, where do you and your friends stand? Mm, right next to Bobette, I said. Okay. Just go back. I'm sorry, this thing is just.
Another okay. way to make I don't know why I cannot exit this. I'm so sorry. There you go. Okay, so we just go into how uh, we can, uh, how is bullying defined? Um, ¿Cómo se define el acoso escolar? And what are the different types of bullying? ¿Cuáles son los diferentes tipos de bullying que hay? Que a lo mejor uno no, no, no nombramos ahorita. And what's the difference between conflict and bullying? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el conflicto y el bullying? So if we, we want to share in the chat or you want to open your mic, you can talk too. Lo vamos a poner en el chat o lo pueden este, es, eh, prender su micrófono. There's verbal and physical bullying. Yes, verbal and physical bullying. What else? You can always write it in the chat if you're not comfortable speaking on the mic or in Spanish, you can write it too. I wanna hear from y'all and see what you think about bullying. Or if it's something that ever happened in your school with your kids, you can share that, um, you know, that story too with us. I just say that um, when we look at bullying, we have to make sure that it's not just a kid being mean or um, being rude, but in fact, bullying means that it's unwanted behavior that happens over a period of time. And it's something where one student um, kind of overpowers another, whether it be words or um, yeah, emotions or, you know, to hurt someone's feelings or even um, to other students, to friends. So not just being mean or rude, but actual um, an, an overpowerment over um, time, repeated action. No nada más es que sean malos con ellos o que sea verbal, es un comportamiento que se repite constantemente. Eh, puede llegar también hasta agresión, eh, puede pasar límites. So, por eso es muy importante siempre mantenernos comunicados con nuestros hijos, preguntarles cómo les fue en la escuela, qué hicieron, eh, tienes amiguitos. Um, Y hay niños que a veces son los líderes de que ellos quieren mandar y toman el sobrepoder de los niños. So it's always really important that it's not only verbal or, you know, physical. It could be so many ways too. Um, and, you know, just have really good communication with your kids. What, how was school today? Who is your friend? Um, because in that group, sometimes he's always a leader there and who's the one who says and everyone has to do it, especially when they go to resist and play. Um, I, I see that because I was working before with the kids. So I have seen that a lot and we have to be really careful about that too. Let's move on. So I just want to share some of the resources um, for this presentation that we had here. Uh, this is a QR that you can um, scan and it will take you uh, to the resources that we use for this presentation too. And I have one who have brought, the bully has perceived power over the one they are bullying acting aggressive towards someone, counting, teasing about someone. It's true. So I wanna hear when your kid or your student comes 
and tell your mom, this kid has been bothering me. What actions do you take? Um, if you want to write it in the chat or you want to open your mic, um, because that happened to me and what I did is I went directly to the school and talked to the principal. And um, apparently that kid, it was not only bullying my son, he was bullying other people. So my son has to be removed from that classroom to another classroom. So I don't know if someone has a similar story, uh, what you did, and I had to talk to my son and let him know, you know, what was going on. Because sometimes, I mean, they're nice kids. They don't understand what's really, why he's mean to me or why he's doing that to me if I don't do anything to him. So, right, Ms. Powell? So, um, if someone has a story you want to share or... So, I will give you a minute. Someone wants to share. In Spanish, um, um, si alguien quiere compartir una historia de bullying que le haya pasado con su hijo, eh, pueden prender su micrófono, pueden escribirlo en el chat. No one? Okay, well, let's move on. <laughs> okay, this is some of the books, um, 10 anti-bullying books from the classroom. Ms. Powell, do you want to talk a little bit about these books, how they can, um, their kids, you know, can engage with the books or how you, they can read the books so they can be, on, be, be able to understand in that age, in, depending on the level of the age? All of the books that are shown are really good books that can be used to talk about, um, bullying that might be taking place or that might be happening and they might be afraid to share it. Okay, this is some of the books there. You can find them, you know, maybe in the library they have them. They can always go and check out a book there. Always has the librarian. So that's a really good books. So I have someone um, that wrote, he, we have yet to experience any bully with other children, but I do always preach for the kids to speak up and tell someone if they're being bullied. Yes. We always have to listen to children. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Ms. Nina. So this is what we have learned. Um, how do we can prevent bullying? And what are some of the strategies of kindness that um, to accept inclusion? So, ¿cómo podemos prevenir el bullying? ¿Cuáles son algunas estrategias de meabilidad de la aceptación o inclusión? So, son preguntas que nos ponen a pensar de cómo podemos enfrentar ese tipo de bullying, especialmente si ya pasaste por una situación así, eh, ¿qué más puedo hacer? So, por eso hay muchos libros, cómo explicarles a los niños, cómo decirles para que ellos puedan entender. So, this question is just, you know, about to think and reflect of if we have to go through for, with a story like this or um, what we can do better, how we can tell kids what is bullying. Um, and, you know, just listen to our kids. So I have some information right here. Um, this is the three counselors for my three schools, which this is Ms. Um, Tavira Powell, which is from Alexander Elementary School. And then we have um, Hastings Elementary School, which is um, Ms. Kayla Jones. And the counselor from Bill Hertz, which is Ms. Candace Anderson. They are always available to help and listen to you. Um, you always can contact or email them, you know, whatever questions you have. They are always there to help you. So changing a little bit the subject, um, we want you to stay informed about the COVID-19. You know, the vaccine is already here. And some of you may, might have already, you know, get it. And you can always go to uh, 
cdc.gov and get some of the information, update information. And I have some resources right here where you can get the vaccine if you're interested in, which is the Dallas County, Tarrant County, and, um, and CVS. Uh, uh, CVS too is getting it to put. CVS is a little uh, book, but Tarrant County is really fast because they opened the Global Life. So if you um, you need help to registration or anything, just please let me know. I will more happy than help you with the registration. Be safe. Wear your mask. Um, you know because you still even you have the vaccine, you can get you know contagious. So. Um, be safe and wear your mask, especially in this break. Break. Okay, well, like I said, my name is Sylvia Perez and I'm the Family Engagement Liaison for Bill Hurts in Hastings and Alexander. And this is my phone number um, and my personal phone number and my email. You can always contact me and we are not open the Family Resource Center because of COVID. But hopefully next year we'll, we'll have volunteers, people coming to school, you know, share resources with you. And, um, and also we offering ESL classes for the people who wants to learn English. Um, you can always, um, if you're interested, you can stay after this presentation and I will give you more information about that. Or if you need help with the vaccination or any question. And uh, we want to hear from you. So um, I will be sharing the link in, in the chat. Um, it's just a little survey that we want to hear how we did. And um, if you have any questions, if you want to, um, here, let me go in the chat. Or anything do you want to, we want, you want us to do. We want to present a different workshop or, you know, so, um, I'm going to share it here in the chat. So those, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna answer these questions about in the chat. So these books, you can find it in Amazon too. Um, my, mine, I got it in Amazon. Um, and yeah, so it, and sometimes in the library, they might have the books or you can get it in the book fair from the school too. That would be really good and you know actually you can support the school too with the buying books there um well thanks for everyone and also um this is the uh i shared the link and uh, it's for the survey oh or you can always go ahead and scan the qr code in your phone so um i'm gonna exit here so i can see everyone um so Stop sharing. Um, so the people from Bill Hearts, can you please write your name in the chat and um, the name of your student? Only from Bill Hearts. That way they can get the bulldog cash before you go. And thank you so much for being here today, this morning, and I wish you the best spring break. Um, and thank you so much, Ms. Powell, for being here and share all this information with, with us. And thank you so much for, you know, have a great spring break. Thank you. And I'm going to stay here if you have a question or um, a comment or anything. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Powell. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank Bye. You.